Okay, today we're talking about triplexers, diplexers, and how to combine multiple bands into, uh, basically get uh, multiple bands into one feed line. And specifically, in this video, we'll talk about the radio end. So, uh, this came up, uh, made a video, I don't know, a while back about crossband repeat between the 9700 and the 7300. We've got the 9700 on the left and the 7300 on the right. And several people had asked uh, how I set up the uh, the uh, triplexers or, or, or duplexers or, or whatever because I was using a single feed line. And I really didn't show that. But it's not hard to do. You just need uh, a couple of, uh, well, in this instance, you need a triplexer and a, and a uh, diplexer. And you basically just cascade them is basically what you do. So this diplexer is a Comet CFX 431. I got that one with the radio. Um, essentially what it does is it takes your VHF port, your 144, UHF 440, and uh, your, your 1.223 centimeters, combines them into one, one feed line, right? Just like you would expect it to do. But where people were asking is how did, how did I split it further? And you do that by throwing in another, another diplexer into the mix in this case. They, they may make quadplexers, I don't know, but uh, you can kind of roll your own by... Uh, by adding a second du duplexer. So it's real simple. So you'll notice this CF, CF, yeah, CFX 431, you'll notice it has a basically HF through VHF port, and then the other one's UHF, and then let's just call this one 1.2 for the time being. So we're really only dealing with the VHF port, port at this point because we're trying to get uh, HF into here, correct? So in order to do that, Common also makes this diplexer, which is the CF530, and it has essentially uh, HF through six meters, or four meters if you're in, U in the UK, and you could even throw CB in there if you wanted. But uh, And then on the second port, it's got uh, VHF through UHF. So what you do, it's very simple. These colors kind of represent what bands do. Just uh, uh, blue is VHF, red obviously is UHF, and white is 1.2. I try to keep all that straight, and then, then her yellow is going to be uh, HF. So, what you do, you take the CF530, you disconnect your VHF port, because that's the one where we want to inject the signal, because that's the one that will pass uh, HF, and then you'll plug, <coughs> excuse me, you'll plug that into your common port, right? So now, now it's split further. We're not worried about, don't worry about the UHF port. We're not worried about that. All we're worried about is the, the HF side and uh, VHF, which in this case is going to be 125 through essentially 150. That's going to be our range. So that's, you know, our two meter band essentially falls in the middle of that. So you'll take this, the port from the, from the triplexer, plug it into the common of the CS530. Then you take your HF leg, or I'm sorry, your, your VHF, which is now VHF, don't worry about UHF because we're not, we're not dealing with that signal, but it'll still pass it, like, just like I said. Run it around, plug it back in to the VHF port on the, on the uh, 9700. So now you split that out and you're left with another pigtail for essentially HF through six or four meters, which you would just take and plug it into the back of your 7300 which would yield all signals combined coming out of this port here, or that feed line, let's call it a feed line. So you get uh, 160, uh, 80, 40, uh, all the bands, 60, 12, 15, CB, I mean, any, anything from four meters, anything from 1.3 to, to 90 megahertz. So that's how I did it. And uh, I know several people had asked, so it's, it's not hard to do. I mean, it's just, it, now, you know, we're using these diplexers and triplexers as a combiner at this end. So you have to remember that, you know, whatever you combine here, you've got to extract at the antenna end. So that means either buying a duplicate set of these and extracting them the same way you combined them here, or, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. You can, you can mix and match. And uh, you could even use like co remote coax switches at the antenna, uh, at the tower, to uh, do switching out there. In other words, you could... If you, if you had a combined uh, six meter and HF leg going out, you could put a switch at the tower, you know, remote relay co coax switch and 
have a dedicated six meter antenna and then a dedicated, I don't know, random wire tuner like I, like I usually use. But, you know, that's how you do it. And for instance, if you had a CF530 and you had a, let's just worry about the radio end. You could plug in your 7300 here and a dual band mobile here, assuming it had combined ports and uh, you know, run that out to your tower, or you could even, if you had two separate radios, you could put that in there, this basically VHF, UHF diplexer. So you could run a UHF radio, VHF radio, and an HF radio, and it'd all be combined. You know, you could combine it at a feed line like that, or turn the whole thing around, and then you could split it at the antenna end. So you could have a VHF, UHF antenna, or two separates, or you get it. You just have to kind of play with the numbers. And there are some associated loss with the diplexers, but they're very, very small. I mean, if you took like, uh, you know, you're talking about running like, I don't know, a good set of hard line, like some Heliax or something like seven eights, you know, whatever you lost in these diplexers would easily be overcome by the, by the, uh, the better feed line. So that's that. I appreciate everybody watching.